public investors, I want to make sure that by the time you got to the founder section that you were able to understand a little bit more about where the company's from, where we're going, uh, but most importantly, what have we been through to get to this point? Of course, resilience and persistence is very important for an entrepreneur uh, as far as you know qualities uh, to invest in. But I think that over the course of the next couple of minutes, you're going to see uh, a little bit of timeline uh, on the history of the company. But most importantly, where we're going and some of the initiatives we're taking today and over the next couple of weeks uh, from following the filming of this video. But um, So if you have any questions, please leave us uh, comments in the section below. And I wish you the very best. All right, so the original idea for the company back in 2017 was to build an app essentially for social media marketing individuals and professionals who are on the go. We quickly realized that pivoting to desktop made perfect sense and we continued going from there. Now in 2018, unfortunately, we had to let go of our CTO and a very close friend of mine, uh, mainly because it just wasn't a good fit. Um, and uh, with $12,000 left in the bank, we had le less than six months of runway. Uh, we decided to plow all of it into a new dev team working offshore and uh, so that we can continue building a great product for small businesses. Uh, in the midst of that, I ended up finding a full-time job that allowed me to put food on the table, allowed uh, us to continue de uh, developing the product itself. We did not give up no matter what. Uh, towards the beginning of 2019, I uh, ended up meeting some incredible individuals, one of whom invested $25,000 in the company. We continued spending on products and making sure that you know we were building a great product that was future-proof, uh, again, to support small businesses with a categorically new product. Uh, and obviously all of my salary from the full-time job went into it, all my savings, all my credit cards uh, went towards supporting the team and making sure that we were continuing on our mission. Uh, and I think the most important thing was to take ultimate risk to make sure that this vision came to fruition. Lost that full-time job uh, and then found a part-time job uh, that allowed me to continue uh, you know, working on the company part-time and, uh, and expanding as well. In the midst of that, AppSumo called. Uh, they wanted to uh, help us launch essentially on their network. We did inc incredibly well on the AppSumo network. Uh, in the midst of that happening, Republic, uh, as you know, the equity crowdfunding platform you're, you're watching this video on, uh, they came to us and said, hey, do you want to audition for TV uh, and for the pitch off? Of course, my girlfriend also found the audition itself in the first place, and we were able to audition. Originally, we got rejected, then we got accepted, then we flew to California in October to uh, do the original filming itself. Uh, just a couple of days before that happened, my mom unfortunately passed away. She was a great inspiration in terms of a lot of the design, the aesthetics, and uh, just making sure that everything was pixel perfect. Uh, she was definitely, definitely a tough cookie. Uh, additionally, my girlfriend helped with finding additional credit cards, loaning the company a little bit of capital to make sure that we were, you know, continuing to build product and we could make sure that our developers were had food on the table. Launched in Q4 of 2019, immediately we had $30,000 in sales by January. Uh, we then, uh, in 2020, beginning of 2020, we launched the Republic campaign the first time around. Of course, you're watching this video on our second campaign. We aired on Meet the Drapers, ended up winning the first round of the, uh, the show itself. Uh, stay tuned for more information. I can't really talk about what ends up happening on the show, but definitely check out the update section. Now, then we closed our first round of funding on Republic and raised about $380,000 which was phenomenal. And then sales to date in the last five months or so of, of launching, which is right here, we've done $135,000 in sales with 4,000 B2B customers from all over the world. And we ship incredible products. Let's take a look at that. Now, talking about some of the initiatives that we are you know, going into the, uh, with this campaign, obviously we're launching a second campaign. We invite you to invest as low as $100 into the campaign. And if you invest more, there are obviously perks associated with uh, investing a lot more. Of course, the Meet the Draper show will continue to air. Um, the semifinals, the fin finales will also air. Uh, of course, we can talk about it at the filming of this video, uh, you know, what we ended up doing, how well we ended up doing on the show, but we also wanted to make sure that we're continuing to uh, release products. So one of the things that, you know, we're very excited about is the Hootsuite integration into Hello Wolfie with 18 million social media professionals all over the world. That is one of our biggest uh, channel partners uh, to date. Now, of course, we also built a Chrome extension that allows you to autocomplete anywhere on the internet uh, when it comes to the right kinds of words, the right kinds of emojis. Make sure you look at demos in the update section for more information. We also upgrade the Discover section to include thousands of publications from all over the world. This was one of the most sought after features in our product for sure. Taking all the amazing data science capabilities we built, we also then decided to build long form content uh, as an editor. What that means is in journal blog, what that means in journal, small businesses can now type entire blog posts 
uh, press releases using uh, the autocomplete technology and auto suggest for emojis. Now we're also looking into smart speaker marketing. What that means is essentially uh, scheduling content to the Alexa flash briefings. You're gonna hear more about that in the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned in the update section, but that we are extremely excited about being one of the first social media schedulers to be able to do that. Uh, of course, we have a couple other integrations coming up, Pinterest, Google My Business, the Android app is coming out as well. Uh, of course, we are also launching a Stack Commerce, one of our other channel partners in July. Uh, we have several other channel partners uh, who are going to be helping us take our product and our sales from where they are today, which is very impressive, $135,000 in literally under six months, uh, where we're hoping to double that. Which brings me to my last point, which is by the end of this year, we're projecting to do $250,000 in sales uh, for 2020. All right, well, there you have it. That's the history of the company. As, as you know, building startups is not easy, but uh, we, we are definitely in it for the long term. We're in it to support small businesses just like ours and just like yours. Um, and so any contribution you make on the equity crowdfunding side of things, make sure you check out the perks. Make sure you read the entire uh, Republic page itself, learn more about the company, learn more about us. And if you have any questions, leave your comments in the discussion section below. Again, thank you so much for spending the time on the, our Republic page, and I wish you the very, very best. Bye-bye.